The 30th anniversary of Africa Oil Week, African nations are aggressively vying for investments in their oil and gas sectors. We want investors to come to the Kita area, where we believe this. And the elements of the petroleum system is very good. Then we may have to look at this car, right? Um, for instance, royalty, you don't expect somebody, an investor, to pay a royalty of maybe 12 and a half percent or just of um, 3,500 meters. So we are looking at a certain sliding scale where the royalties in the deep water is going to be inversely proportional to um, the water level. Right. So the deeper you are, the less you pay your royalties. New entrants like Zanzibar and Tanzania are seeking to attract investors. Well, it is uh, our first uh, uh, licensing round and uh, uh, several countries have been there before. Uh, uh, for us, it's a, it's a huge, uh, um, huge uh, it was a huge task to actually get here and uh, we are very happy with the, uh, uh, with the process itself and uh, uh, it has many um, significance in terms of putting Zanzibar in the, in the map of uh, uh, upstream uh, oil and gas. Um, three, four years ago, no, nobody had uh, Zanzibar in terms of uh, uh, the upstream activities. Maybe tourism, maybe spices, but uh, not oil and gas province. So uh, um, this first licensing round is a door towards uh, uh, diversifying our economy. Nigeria received just 5% of Africa's total oil and gas investment in 2023 and is hoping that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's initiatives will reverse that trend. In Nigeria, I think, uh, uh, and for the purpose of this presentation, we believe that a wise investor should consider the Nigeria licensing round for a number of reasons. I'm just talking of a wise investor. <laughs> Our president, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in line with this declaration that Nigeria is ready for business, again, Consider the fact that the need to give more incentives in a manner to make Nigeria more, I mean, that is investor friendly. And to that extent, as I've illustrated in my presentation here today, as granted uh, what we call presidential initiatives, all aimed at enhancing the operations uh, in the uh, Nigeria oil and gas sector, attracting more investment, especially in the um, Nigeria upstream. And the Nigeria bid round uh, entry fee that is called signature bonus is uh, they made very, very competitive. So this is part of the good news that you take away. Africa Oil Week conference centers on sustainable development in the upstream sector with a focus on expanding Africa's gas value chain. Uh, oil and gas is going to be with us for a while. Uh, how long that is, we don't know. But for host countries such as us, it then reinforces the need to maximize our oil resources while we are, while we have the time, given the time we have, because we still need to add 200 million people uh, with estimates to 400 million over the next couple of years, the next couple of decades. Energy security, energy access is going to be top priority for not only Nigeria, but some African Especially leaders are calling for a moratorium so on energy transition as traditional financiers increasingly abandon fossil fuels for sources burning, of renewable uh, energy. carbon burning fuels such as PMS and diesel to cleaner burning fuels such as CNG and LPG and over time we will now transition to electrification of energy and reach net zero. Adesua Giwa Osage, Arise News, Cape Town.